Let's talk about how to debug programs that use fork and exec. Hey everybody, welcome back. In my last few videos, I've talked about fork and exec. I've talked about processes, how to create them, how to kill them. We talked about zombie processes, but occasionally when students start using fork and exec, they realize that their GDB skills are inadequate. When they've got their program loaded up in GDB and they're stepping through one line at a time and they hit either a fork or an exec call, sometimes they find that things don't work out quite the way they expected. Now, the reason for this is pretty simple. When you fork, you create two processes and GDB, as you're stepping through, GDB doesn't necessarily know which one you wanna follow. It turns out it can't actually follow both. It can only follow one at a time. So the solution to this is simple. All you do is go into GDB and set the follow fork mode parameter or argument or whatever it is. You type set follow fork mode and either child or parent. And that tells it when, when we fork, I want to either follow the child or I want to follow the parent. So you just have to make sure you do this before you hit the fork. And then when you hit the fork, you'll go to the side that you care about. With exec, it's kind of the same thing. When you hit exec, exec essentially replaces the current process. So if you wanna step into the new process you're creating, you can use follow exec mode, just like you use follow fork mode, and you can set it either to the new program or you can use same, which will keep it where it's at. And this I'm really excited about. Follow exec mode is something that I actually recently discovered. I didn't even realize it was there until one of my students pointed it out to me. I just used to set breakpoints in the other program and then, then when it would exec, it would catch it there, which I mean, that works too, but this is really nice. When you're about to exec another program, and you're stepping through it, you do need to make sure that you've included debug symbols in that program. So just compile it with dash G and you should be fine. But the point is if you don't, you might end up stepping through stuff that doesn't make any sense. So that's all I have for today. A really quick tip about using GDB with fork and exec. I hope it makes your lives easier and helps you on your next project. And until next time, I'll see you later. Music